Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Plague Incorporated Evolved Blind. We have done the artificial organs last time, which was kind of silly because I used the um, Nurex Swarm, so it was really, that was really no difference than usual. I guess we needed to be lethal for this to show any effect at all. But let's try the frozen virus. A giant virus frozen deep in the Siberian permafrost has thawed and infected an unknown victim. Dormant for over 30,000 years, it was last active at a time when mammoths and Neanderthals roamed the world. Its ancient genetic structure predates Homo sapiens, but its DNA has been severely degraded. Does it have what it takes to send humanity back to the Stone Age? Hmm. Let us find out. So this is going to be a... Did it say virus? I mean... Uh, yeah, virus. Okay, so this is going to be difficult to stop. So I want more bubbles. I want to be... Creation has decreased the chance of your plague mutating. Because I believe the virus also uh, costs to devolve. Terracide, we're going to be terracide. We're going to be... Hydrophil. And we're going to be... Ionized helix. There. Normal. So this is gonna be metal A1. Ancient one. I know, my stuff sucks. You're an ancient virus that has been frozen for 30,000 years. Repair your damaged DNA to restore traits from your distant past. Oil drilling in the Siberian permafrost releases you. Highly resistant to cold, you will struggle to infect warmer climates. So that is the only place where we can start. Let's see, uh, Metal A1 has infected its first human. We can use the cold temperatures, blah blah blah. Let's see what we have. Transmission, ah, different. Amoeba susceptible to viral infection and spreads primarily through fresh water and salt water. Increases effectivity. Oh, so we're, uh, we're, uh, we, uh, infect amoeba then. Uh... Moderate pain in mastication muscles, especially when eating and per periodical jaw clicking. Occasional intemperate drooling when sleeping or eating Increase in increases infectivity slightly. This is not good, we are already a little visible. Uh, anemia, cysts, abilities. Oh! Oh, yeah, of course, we were frozen. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 30,000 years of surviving beneath layers of ice have completely solidified virus's lipid covering, ensuring survival at sub-zero sub temperatures. Greenland, here we come. Initial repair of low-level protein strands damaged during dormancy. Restore ancient symptoms and ability to stabilize in warmer environments. So that's uh, one of the first things we're gonna get. But I am worried about that severity. They can find me rather quickly. It's a virus. This means that it randomly mutates rapidly and can be hard to control. It costs DNA points to devolve. Yep. So it's a good thing I took the creation. It's... Right, let's repair our DNA. There we go. Partial repair of low level damage. Restore ancient symptoms and ability to resist basic immune responses. Okay, so there, there's the heat resistance. Uh... We also have severe gum infection, causes teeth to fall out. Ugh. This is rather severe. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the amoebas first. Virus manipulates amoebal DNA, allowing host amoeba to thrive in warm body parts of animals, increases infectivity. So, seven DNA. Also, I want bl uh, water transmission. Come on. Nice. Uh. Should I go for water transmission or... Yeah, let's go for water transmission first. Yeah, already uh, infected the Baltic states over here. Excellent! Yeah, this is one of those again, where you, you have some severity and you can't take it out. But it's better than the Black Plague, because that was quite severe from the very beginning and lethal as well, and we couldn't do anything about it. Let's uh, do the amoebas. Ah, there we go. DNA reshuffling to allow host amoeba to survive and spread in animal feces, increasing infectivity in poor rural countries. Alright. I want to repair my DNA further, though. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. To withstand higher temperatures. Okay, we're gonna do that, but... I'll want to do, uh, hot stuff as well. Hot stuff! Righto! There you go! Oh, lovely! Lovely. 
Yeah, let's go for heat. And then we'll probably go for some drug resistance as well, because we're coming up to Europe over here. Nice. Very nice. Let's go for drug resistance. We can be found rather quickly now, though. Because there will be so many infected in Russia, and we do have some severity. You know, some symptoms that uh, are sort of difficult to not see. Hello, Canada. Yeah, there we go. A doctor in Russia found a new disease which has been named Metal A1. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting the disease. Hello, Greenland. Well, fortunately, we don't have a problem with these cold countries. We'll need uh, more heat resistance as well. Well, we need far more infectivity now. Let's do ed edentulism, which sounds horrible. Teeth falling out. Ugh. But perhaps also these. Let's do this first. But maybe, maybe not, because it's so severe. Hmm. I'm gonna do this and repair my DNA with eight points when I can. Let's do that. There we go. Resist advanced immune responses. Yeah, I can I can do uh, heat resistance number two now, which I'll probably will. Global banks reported record profits today and announced cheap loans for everyone. Public forgives banks and goes back to shopping. Uh, the sheep that we are. Russia is first to instruct doctors to begin research into the cure. No, no, no. We don't want any research going on. Certainly not. Come on, infection. I want more. Yeah, look at that. Saudi Arabia is barely getting any infections because I need more heat resistance. Come on. On the other hand, Greenland is uh, quite nice. <laughs> Uh, a little more, and we'll be able to get... Charities are holding a Metal A1 Awareness Day to raise the profile of this disease and encourage development of a cure. Hello, Central America. Oh, there we go. Uh, heat resistance, please. And now... Metal A1 has been placed on the WHO watch list. Although not very dangerous, governments warned that a more deadly strain could appear. And now you can see that Saudi Arabia is still stuck at 10 people. <laughs> Come on. I need more infectivity as well. Australia? Hello, mate. Right. I guess there's more heat resistance there that we'll need. Advanced immune responses. I also need more transmission, though. Hmm. How's the research going? Yeah, they are stepping up. Let's do some birds as well. Brazil has started to send research teams to infected countries. I don't like that. Right, let's do amoeba. More infectivity. More! Nice, right. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I thought I would get... Uh, damn it. To survive in hot environments, there we go. Viral DNA fully reconstructed, giving access to entire genetic code from Neanderthal era. Can now entirely reshape human temperament. What? Okay. 13 DNA points. I'll need 39 DNA points to get the heat resistance 3 though. That is uh, rather a lot, and they are researching me. Brazil has become the first country to try to limit the spread. That's not good. Do I really need that much heat resistance? I don't know. Or should I just get this? Yeah, and then get all the nice symptoms. Come on. And in fact, they're still going up, but... I don't know for how long. You can see the cold countries over here. Come on. More DNA, please. Metal A1 has had its genome fully sequenced. Great. 28 to 30. Just jumped. Right, let's get this, which is uh, a lot more. Infectivity hormone ch changes trigger growth of carnivorous teeth and consumption of raw meat. Poor dental hygiene increases. What? Ugh. 
What is this? What the hell? Cyst symptom. Well, that's fine. Alright. Skin lesions. That's quite a lot, actually, for 7 DNA. Large open wounds which significantly increase infectivity. Let's do that. It's not lethal yet, but uh, I probably should get some lethality soon. I don't think I can do that one. Look, South Africa is stuck at 12. Fear of metal A1 is causing the global economic markets to panic. And everything is slowing down. Right, let's get that. Relentless bone growth with high mineral density results in severe musculoskeletal stress, lethal in many cases. Broken skin increases infection. Ugh. Um, abilities. I should really get this heat resistance. 40 DNA. That's pretty darn insane. Hmm. Interesting virus, though. Yeah, but I believe the, uh... Cure will be there before that. Oh, I've got a lot of DNA there. Look at that. Heat resistance. Pathogen able to survive and spread in crystalline seawater when ice melts. Increases infectivity by sea and is harder to detect. A bit late for that. Sudan has executed a group of people with metal A1 to prevent infection. That's not good. Not for me, anyway. No. Um... Get this. Cranial lymphatitis. Increased bone growth pl places pressure on the brain. Trauma makes cure development significantly harder and can be lethal. 32 D DNA points. So people are now craving raw meat. First death from Metal A1 has been confirmed in Peru. Bad luck or the beginning of something terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that. 32 DNA points. Anemia symptom without using DNA points. Nice, let's get that. What was that? DNA recombination destroys logical and emotional brain function, leading to complete regression to Neanderthal state. <laughs> Research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure, and they're rather close to it as well. I don't like that. Damn it, I was too late. Too late indeed. Well, let's get some stuff. Tumors. What's this? John Dice. Ugh. Accelerated viral production in the liver results in bilirubin buildup, causing yellowing of skin, eyes, and mucous membrane. Increases infectivity. Eh, why not? Even though I'm already too late as the cure has been developed. The cure will begin shortly. Darn. There we go. Is being, uh, is being deployed worldwide. But there are a few Neanderthals left now. Damn it. <laughs> Quite amusing, though. Thank you. I don't need that DNA. Has survived the devastating plague and will soon eradicate Metal A1 forever. Large numbers of people have died and the world has changed forever. Well, 304 Neanderthals. Damn it. We'll have to do this one again, and hopefully not be noticed as that soon. Oh well, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.